Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in. Let me know how your Thursday has been. Happy Thursday to you. Guys, it's happy hour. So what that means around here is we're going to come in, check on each other, see how we're doing, um, have a little fun with some art. I only have water, which I'm really disappointed. I went in there to get me a tea and we're out. So it's water. So let me know how you guys are doing today and come on in here and say hey let me know you're watching even if you're not a normal commenter just say hey let me know you're here and then you don't have to say another word i just like to know who is here it's always fun to go back and look and read the comments hello diane i think you're the first one on how are you today glad you're here you guys help me get the word out and get all our friends here and um, I'm just happy to be here. This is uh, what I'm calling, well, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So it's kind of Breast Cancer Awareness Month here with Art and Grace. So I'm going to do another pink painting today and giving you guys lots of ideas to either bless somebody that you know going through breast cancer or a survivor that you know, or take what I am teaching and change the colors. So I'm coming up with designs that you can use you know with whatever colors you like so it doesn't have to be pink so oh good Cheryl my day was good I'm glad I hope yours was too and hope you guys are um, are just ready for a little fun and chit-chatting with each other hello Luana yes Diane I'm glad you're here and hi Daniela and Cheryl I hope I haven't missed somebody but come on in here and just say hey so we are not really under a time crunch today like I usually am, but I will still get right to it. Hi, Lori. Glad you're here. And not Terry, because I know you guys have, um, you know, dinner and clean up and getting ready for tomorrow and all the things you do in the evenings. So I won't stay too long. Hello. Oh, good. I'm glad. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Cynthia. Bless you. I just think about you all the time. I just know what you're dealing with. Prayers to you, my friend. Um, so take a sip you know when you're just craving something and I just was craving that sweet tea and I went in there and jug is empty okay guys so let me just give you a sneak peek of what we're gonna do I'm not gonna do the glass art part I just did this glass art today so it is definitely not even near cured but we're going to do the painting underneath and i know you really can't tell because it is covered up with glass and that's one thing sometimes the paintings you know do get so covered that you'd prefer to just have the painting so this is what it looks like with glass it's gorgeous and tomorrow it will be even prettier but i will sh and i'm just leaving it right here for now what i do is i put these on a shelf that i have that's level and cover it with this so i've told you guys to if you see those little tents for food at uh, Dollar Tree or wherever Walmart grab them because it's great for covering your glass art and you can just kind of peek in there and see you know make sure it's okay you know sometimes after about 15 minutes I'll peek at it just to be sure that a bubble hasn't come up and you can still get that bubble out if it has so anyway I wanted to show you guys that but I think it'll be okay just sitting here very still as long as I don't mess it up but anyway I wanted to show you kind of what we're going for a pink flower Yes, you're live, Roxanne. Hello. Thank you, Cynthia. I appreciate it. Tony, we're going to do a really pretty pink flower, sort of like a sunflower, but pink. So, you know, with this, and I'm doing a different technique than I have done on here live. So with this technique, you can do a sunflower or any flower for that matter. So I love showing you guys. Yeah, the screen tints are awesome, Lori. That one uh, came from Ross. So it was like, I want to say five bucks or less. It was so cheap. And um, so I lucked out on that. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Roxanne and Tony McGee. I hope I haven't missed. Hi, Dana. I hope I haven't missed anybody that said hi. I, you know, I probably have, but I'll go back. Okay, so we're going to start with our dark kind of violet. It's vivid violet. And that's what's going to be the base of this one. I should have grabbed another one. I know I have more, but we'll we'll be sh we'll see if we can get through it with just this yeah we probably have plenty sometimes when you turn them over you you can get it out and then i'm going to use my carousel pink 
You're going to need, you know, quite a bit of paint for this one because it it's going to have a lot of layers. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of deep ochre. And let me show you this. If you, not too much of these here. This will be our center of the flower. Um, this is forest green, uh, cadmium yellow, coarse white. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to grab a kind of a flat, um, it's really a filbert, but filbert or flat brush is fine. This one is, I believe, doesn't say, but probably three quarter to an inch. I'm not sure which, but anyway. Yes, hello, Joanne. I'm so glad you guys are popping on. So I am going to do this all in one direction. So it's all going to go diagonal on this canvas and just get the purple down. I'm just calling it purple. Look purple to you guys. If you put a little bit of white with it, it will turn pretty pink. It's a really good color. I like to use it a lot. But again, you know, you can do this in any color. So if pinks and purples aren't your thing and you don't have somebody you want to paint one for with breast cancer or something, then just do what you want to do. If I was doing this as a sunflower, I would put down here a really dark yellow, like I'd mix some yellow and some brown. Or if I had one, you know, just a darker yellow, kind of like that ochre yellow, but a little darker. Um, so that would work too. So all diagonal strokes, and then I'll do my sides, but on my sides, I'll probably add a little bit of white to it so that it's not quite so dark and just kind of get the sides down because our overall look of this will be more pink-ish than purple. So, but either way, so much of art is just your personal preference, you know? So I show you kind of my style and how to do things but you can make it your own with colors, change it up however you want to, all the things. Sometimes, you know, you're like, well, of course I could do that. You know, you just don't think to do it. So I like to give you guys some ideas. Hi, Veronica. Hello, Jill. Candy. I love that you say hi to everybody. Hi, Jeanette, my friend. Oh my gosh, I wanted to hug your neck the other day and I still haven't had... I still haven't made the time to message you. Sorry. Okay, so adding some white and getting this on the side. How was your trip, girl? Did y'all have a good time? And you were at a conference, I know. So let me know how that was. You guys follow my friend Jeanette. I just adore what she does. Every time I watch a live, I'm amazed. She, some of you will say, gosh, you make it look so easy. Well, that's what she does on her page. Uh, she does a lot of crafts and wreaths and decor items that I don't do and it just amazes me how simply she can make it look just effortless but I know it's not. Hi Blakely, glad you're here. Oh you too Cecile, I love, love these check-in times is what I call it. Just let us know how you're doing some of us are having really really rough weeks i have a couple of friends that are having a really really rough week and need the prayer and some of us are having great weeks so come in let us know how you're doing if you need the prayer we're here for you and if you're one that's like having a great week then you can lift up somebody else okay i'm going to dry this top and then we're going to do another layer of it and again if you're just popping in i will show you in just one second the one that I've already finished uh, this will be a beautiful painting and I won't add glass to this one but I did add glass to it earlier just to see if I liked it so I'll show you that <gasps> April how are you is your work day done at 5 13 I hope so I hope so good I'm glad you had a blast Jeanette hi Barbara so glad you caught me live I, you know, like I said, I've said this before, there's some of you guys that seem to catch the replays more, and that's totally fine. So it always thrills me when I see you here live with me. That's always kind of special. But man, I wish we could all just be on here at the same time and chit chat. I know you guys will kind of get to know each other in the comments, which is amazing. 
Oh, I know, Patty. So was it around 70 today in Tennessee? So jealous. You're done, yes. One more day, or do you have tomorrow off? Is it one more day? Yes, I'll show you one second. Let me get this purple down and then I will show you this one. It's sitting right here. So again, same direction. I'm going same diagonal strokes, just getting this on the base. And you'll see why I'm telling you to do diagonal in one second. Any colors, guys, you know, I am trying to provide some ideas so that if you have somebody in your life who has breast cancer now or has fought it and won or lost somebody to breast cancer, you might want to paint something like this for them or you can always message me to purchase and I'll send it to them. Um, I had somebody do that, I guess, Tuesday. You know, I'm happy to do that. So, um, you know, if you're not able to, but you could also paint this on a card, just whatever. Just, you know, think of what are all the different things you could do. You could paint this on a little sack and give them a little gift in it, you know. So think outside the box. Okay, let me hold this one up. Now, the reason I needed to get done is to be sure my hands are clean because this is in the curing stage. I just did this earlier today. And so it is not, I mean, it's just sitting here ready to cure. But this is, of course, the, the resin and the... Uh, glass that we put on it so hopefully y'all can see I'm watching my iPad to see if it comes up there we go so yes just gold glass and then a mixture of pink and clear glass it looks so pretty I know it's hard to tell when it is in this state but tomorrow it always just looks so much better because it's dry and shiny and all the things but you can I think you can get an idea right so that's what we're gonna do, but today you'll see the painting more. That one is covered up with the glass, so I'm gonna make this to where y'all can just do the painting if you'd like. Oh, thank you, I'm so glad y'all like it. Thank you, Tony. Thanks, Amber, I appreciate you guys. Oh, thanks, Barbara. I know, I love doing the glass art, but I know that not everybody wants to, so I'm gonna show y'all this painting. So you can do it either way, and I will pop this on my website in a day, probably tomorrow. Um, so if anybody wants to purchase a kit, they can, and I have great news. I have great news. I can't say it publicly yet till it's 100% official, but I will be able to give you guys some perks coming up. So can you put resin over? Yes. Yes, you can, Shelly. And, um, let me see. Let me show you. I'll show you the pumpkin. If you didn't see that pumpkin, I did. I did that on the pumpkin. Okay, let me grab this pumpkin. Oh, I always have to be careful leaning and stretching with my back, but this one has the rhinestones and the pearls. Can y'all see that? Yes, so what I'd like to do with that is have all of my resin down and have it spread out where I want it. And then I take my tweezers and just pop down these little gemstones or rhinestones or pearls wherever I want them. So rather than have them all covered up because they're the star of the show, I just place them where I want them so that they are front and center and catch the light and all that. So yes, you can. Yes, and this kit, you know, for anyone who has purchased this, comes with all the of what you see. It comes with the glass, the pearls, the rhinestones, everything, and the paint and the brushes and the canvas and the tracer and a piece of carbon paper so technically you need nothing other than resin so uh yeah so the kit is pretty much complete okay so let's do this little flower first thing i am going to do oh yeah roxanne you totally can thank you guys thanks cynthia appreciate you guys so much uh, first thing I'm going to do is let's just show you how we can just sketch a little circle, half circle, piece of a circle right here. And that will be actually for you guys. I always do this upside down. So now I've like got to get my bearings. Um, so this will be, you know, the center of the flower. And then our petals are going to come out from there. Okay. I don't and you don't need to even worry with this. 
because I'll show you how simple. So I'm going into my green and let me see if I can get this in the camera. And I'm going to put my little green over here and I'm going to mix a little of this ochre yellow with it. It's probably not called, it's called deep ochre. And kind of get a yellow green, but pretty dark. I want it pretty dark. And we're going to just start filling this in. you got to wait because this is one of those that this is, even just this little piece is going to have a ton of layers. And that's what's going to make it look so pretty. So I know y'all are going, oh my gosh, that's so green. I, hold on. I'll just trust the process you have to trust the process and it's that way with anybody you watch so sometimes you might tune into a crafter who is making something and you're just like oh that is terrible oh I don't like that at all or whatever but if you just wait because I watch and I see the comments and somebody will say well I would have done that or I would not have chosen that and in the end they'll say well I didn't see that coming that is gorgeous you know so you got to trust the process and that's why you never quit when you're painting don't give up keep doing it keep doing it and practice really does make you get to where you like it you can't comment watching the live but you're here and you love the project i see you denise are you saying you can't comment but we see you i might have skipped your comment if i didn't see it uh, two things first of all I will kind of take my finger and kind of scroll that iPad so it could have just gone too fast or sometimes Facebook doesn't show all the comments for whatever reason it just I don't know if there's a lag or what hello hello guys if you're just popping in I'm glad you're here okay so we've got our green down kind of come to the edges come to this edge I like to be sure it's just at the edge but not over the edge on this a lot of things i do bring over my edges but this is just one i don't so um, that is our first layer we can go ahead to the next and then we're going to let it dry but i'm going to go ahead and i've got green on my brush and i'm let me just show you and i'm just pouncing it down so i'm leaving the green but just pouncing it down and that way you're seeing what color you have so it's a lot more yellow so i'm just going to come in here and pounce this yellow on top of this green but obviously leaving some of the green I'm not trying to cover all of it and just get this on here and then we're gonna let it dry and then we'll have another layer or two and you'll see the importance of that green in a minute okay so that's really all we have to do on that for now. And then we can start doing our petals. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, Denise. Sorry about that. Hi, Allison. How are you tonight? Glad you're here. Are you going to make it into the group um, for Jennifer? It's okay if you're not. Like, if you're in the VIP, let me know in here. You can just say VIP because it's always fun to see who's watching. But... Um, tonight we've got Jennifer Feely with Home Sweet Create. I'm super excited. She is a sweetheart and um, I'm so grateful that she could make the time. Y'all, I'm a little panicked. I'm going to have to... I didn't realize I was so out of this color. So now I'm like, huh. Ah. <sighs> so nice to get a fresh... I'm just opening the fresh one. It's happy hour. We're going for it. Does anybody have tea? Are y'all drinking tea? That's what I was so wanting. I almost used my teeth, but I didn't. Okay. I should just drink my water. I can't always have tea. Mmm. Good, good. I'm glad. Hi, Patty. How are you? Are you going to get to watch Jennifer tonight? It's always okay if you say no. Because we can't all just sit around and watch TV or internet all day. I understand that. But I'm just curious. I'm just curious who will get to watch and who won't. But there's always replays. Okay, so I've got my round brush. I am. This is a number six, I believe. Uh, looks. Um, it doesn't say or it's covered up. But I believe it's a six. And I'm coming into that purple. Can you all see my palette? Coming into that purple. And I'm also going to dip it into the pink. So it's gonna have both just completely doused. I want a lot of paint on this. So purple and pink. 
and now I've done it twice so it's got a lot of paint and I'm just going to start here in the middle and press down and really press hard and when I see the paint coming off or kind of slowing down I can turn it over and then come on out to the edge so just like that and I'm leaving it so you know sometimes a tendency is to come in here and clean it up and make it or you know kind of come in here just leave it just do your do your uh, your petal and then just leave it you hope so it's seven central so eight eastern or six a mountain I believe and then doing the next one same thing press down pretty hard and just kind of bring it out okay that's it both colors press down pretty hard bring it out and you're just doing that all the way down your canvas side by side and if one petal is a little different shaped or you know you just did something wrong does it matter no because when you look at petals on flowers in nature they're not exact one will have a little tear one will be jagged on the end they're all different so this is a painting that you you can you don't need to do trying to be perfect so just turn your canvas if you need to to keep going however you need to do it works you know just get comfortable and just keep on going with each little petal we're going to cover this whole thing and each time that I've gone in here I have dipped and put more paint and if you see spaces like this I'm kind of filling them in with a petal like that and that's our first step okay we'll have about three layers I think it's three layers on this <gasps> Monica thank you for sprinkling I appreciate you oh good Nola I'm glad thanks and Dana I hope you're having a good day my friend you had your tea Cheryl you have Pepsi and it's six o'clock here Shelly oh Jennifer's a sweetheart yeah it's gonna be good she everything she makes is good last night she came on late and I popped on there and she was doing a lot of chatting and kind of like not you know you could tell she wasn't too sure where she was going just kind of had some things out and and getting going getting her gears going and man it turned out so pretty so she she knocks it out of the park whatever it is so I'm excited okay I am gonna clean this brush off and we're gonna do a little more to our center we're just going from darkest to light so we did our green then we did our yellow green and now I'm going to do a little more of this ochre color kind of by itself so I'm just kind of getting my brush kind of full and worked in so it's not like a big wad of paint on it it's more in the bristles and we're going to just kind of tap down here and there and I'm turning it so that it's not I don't want uniform little marks I want it to be random so some some will face one way some will face another just random and take your time when you get up in this portion by the pink because you don't want to mix those colors so I'm just taking my time to go right up by my line and then I can start pouncing again like crazy out here okay so that's my next step of that and then I'm going to let this dry and I did get into my purple there so all you have to do is take a little white cover over it I don't, I don't even have to really wait till it's dry pat down my green and then pat down my yellow on top of that and it'll all be fine so no big deal no no worries if you make a mistake or do something wrong it's all gonna be it's all fixable Thank you, Jill. Yes, she is amazing. Yes, absolutely. Did she hit her mark yet, Lori? Um, Lori, do you want to put her page Home Sweet Create link? Not link, but you know what I'm saying, like tag, and I will um, pin it. I feel like most everybody here follows her already, but if you don't, 
you will not regret it I can promise you uh, it Mary Beth this is for the paid membership group that I have and it is at 7 p.m. Central and you know I would love every one of y'all to be in there I say it every time she's 200 away y'all she's gonna make that so fast I wish that I had more followers for to give her but um, she really truly deserves it I just you know she's so big that I feel like most people will already follow her pin comment there we go that's her page and like I said trust me you will be glad you followed her she's amazing um, my private group I would love for you to be in it is not technically open right now but listen if you ever feel like I want to learn to paint I love these ladies I want this community just message me message me um, because I can't stand having to wait till open times to let people in that want in so I will be happy to sneak you in right so that's just I know I shouldn't do that but I I know how important it is for me and some of the ladies in there um, are saying the same thing you know they just really enjoy the community aspect the friendships so anyway she is so precious oh she's like oh thank you oh you found me through Jen wow Levita that's awesome yes that's right Mary Beth I know your sister is the paint she's amazing oh well of course Lori I mean gosh you know we're all sisters in this okay let's go back and this is dry we can add another layer I'm going to now pick up my yellow the the uh, what I call school bus yellow but it's cadmium yellow I'm gonna put that over here and so what I've do, done is kind of worked it into my bristles so it's not lots on my you know it's not like I'm gonna paint these it's down in the bristles and I'm gonna do the same thing just pounce this throughout so now do you start to kind of see why we need those layers because through all of this you can see every one you can see the green you can see the ochre color now we've got this bright yellow and it's going to make this center part so much more interesting you can also use brown in there if you want to especially for a sunflower you would use brown but for this one i want it pretty yellow so I'm just tapping as much on as you want some of you may be thinking oh stop don't do too much but for me I like more so you know whatever you like is how you do yours and then I'm gonna again tap it around here pretty gently so that I can get yellow kind of to the to the center where I want it without going all up into the pink if a little bit touches a pink that's fine but I don't want to go crazy with it Okay. now I can also add a little white to this yellow and lighten that up one more level work it down into the bristles and then do the same thing with this and just turn your brush different ways as you're doing it so that they don't look the exact same you have different strokes and then again I'm gonna tap this lightest color up close to there okay so there's how it's looking what do y'all think do you like having the different colors in there can you tell you can tell Jill, it's 18 a month, um, and it's, you know, cancel any time if you're not enjoying it or something, uh, no obligation, and I do offer a year at a time, and you get two months free if you do the year, so it's 180 for 12 months. Oh, thanks. I'm glad y'all like this. Okay, good. 
Now let's go back and do more to our petals. So last time I had the purple and the pink, remember? So this time I'm gonna go in straight pink. We're gonna go right over these ones we've done just with the pink. And this time I'm just gonna do the one pass. I'm not going to go over it or try to make it perfect. I'm just doing one pass. So if it doesn't make it to the edge of my canvas or something, that's okay. I'm just gonna keep going. And that's what will allow us to see the purple underneath. Okay. And remember how we kind of brushed in a couple of extras, so that's, I kind of covered those too. Oh, thanks, Shelly. Hopefully it's a little relaxing for you guys. I know, you know, we're at the, close to the end of the week. You've got one more day if you're a working girl. Oh, thanks, Evelina. I like those colors a lot. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Patty. I know, I love that, Mary Beth. I didn't know that till you told me like, I don't know, a week ago or whatever. That was so awesome. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just keep going even though I typically will dry it, but I'll just keep going. I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna take my pink and this time I'm gonna go into a little white. I don't want a lot of white because it'll take over if I get too much. So I'm gonna start with this and if it's too much, I can go back over it. But um, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna come about halfway and these are gonna be like smaller kind of petals in front. So I do dip down into this paint each time and reload. So uh, you really can't see the white on there, hopefully. There, yeah, pink and white and do another petal. And I am putting the pink and white each time. Oops, I did pink, uh, white first, which will change the look of it. So pink and then white. And then I'll come back and reload. You can get two out of it usually, but see, if I don't have a lot of white there, then I will go ahead and reload. But this is just me, so y'all can do it how you like it. These are just some little shorter petals in front of our long ones. Ooh, I forgot and I'm doing long ones. I think I just did some long ones. So what I'll probably do is come back and make a few other long ones in here so that it doesn't look funny. Just give a few and it'll be kind of in between. So there's our second step. Thank you. Ah, Patty. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and just keep going. I, I'm not even gonna, I, I do typically dry in between, but I'm not going to because I like the way it's looking. So I am right now just kind of blending these little ends here down into the yellow part just a little bit. And then this next one I do will kind of blend all of it together. So same thing, pink and white. This time I have maybe just a little more white. And I'm just gonna kinda come in here and brush in some just right on top of what I have. And there you go. See, that gets covered up by our glass and resin. So it's pretty either way. Let me show you this one again. So this is what it looks like. I probably don't have quite as much white, but underneath all of this, you can see that's our lightest portion because you can tell, you can just tell through the glass. This is clear glass right here. So you can tell it's lighter in there. Um, so anyway, either way, y'all tell me which way you like better. Do you like it better 
plain or do you like it better with the um oh y'all you know it'd be pretty i'm just thinking if you did two oh that'd be pretty to do two the same way and then either hang them both next to each other or do the glass resin on both and you know that'd be a good idea so you could do four and do the whole flower too if you're going to do two or four you need to do them all together so um, have them all sitting there whether it's two or four and then just what you do here you do here you know you take your strokes and you just keep going and that way they match um, I've done that before and that way they match oh I like that I think I might want to do that what do y'all think do you like the glass do four Tarita <laughs> yeah I, I love glass and so I love to put it on everything so yeah oh thanks Deb that's okay thank you Tony glass is so fun you know we are I am y'all may not be but I am definitely in Christmas mode in my brain and if you're like me like I don't really want a lot of Christmas things for Christmas so like if somebody gave me a Christmas painting I'd be like oh that's great but I can't really use it till next year you know you're fixing to have to pack it away till next year so this would be a good gift for someone for Christmas you know so kind of be thinking as you see all of us with these ideas like maybe you want to do something like this for somebody for Christmas um, just a thought, just a thought, because I'm definitely, my brain is turning for Christmas things right now, just because we have to be ahead of the game for creatives and people that sell things, and you love both, perfect gift, yeah, I mean, and I keep thinking all week this week, like, if I was going through breast cancer or had a mom who passed with breast cancer or something, I think it'd be a sweet thing to do or to have, just something that somebody says, hey, I know it's hard. I'm thinking of you you know so why not do one like you can you can I just kind of like the style of having um, you know a half or a portion of a flower it's just a different perspective just like when you see photographs you see some far away you see a whole field of them you see some closer some up close some zoomed in and this is just like zoomed in on a portion that's just a different style so you're only doing the oh no Cynthia I think that's smart you know when kids get older they're fine they don't need that and no I think that that's definitely how it'll be for us I mean you can't you can't do people on fixed income like my poor mother you know would say well what do the kids need I'm like don't worry about it they don't need anything so yeah no don't be sad about that kids get too much already oh thanks Lori I'm glad y'all like it this is honestly really all there is unless you want to lighten up that this one this one centered just a little bit more um, I can I can dry this and throw some glass on it if y'all want to see that but you've probably watched me a thousand times and you know exactly what I do when I do my glass so I just keep going lighter on this if I want to keep lightening it up so I just mixed a little yellow and more white. So you're just, each time you go over it, you're adding the next lighter color. Or lightening the one you just did is basically what you're doing. Um, and there's nothing wrong with putting straight white in here as a highlight if you want to. So this right here is pretty white, but still got yellow in it. And that will just kind of lighten it up. Okay. Thank you, Lynn. I appreciate it. You love them. Oh, thanks. Does anybody want to see the glass, how I would put it, or nah? You good? I think y'all probably are good, but I just want to ask before I, before I go. Thank you, Carolyn. I'm happy that you guys popped in and are hanging with me for this little happy hour. Oh, thank you, Lori. I would love it. If you are not following me, I'd love for you to. And, yeah, hang out with us more often. Oh, Patty said yes. I was going to also, I was thinking about using my pen on this. Um, 
it does look good to add some markings to your painting with either paint or a marker like a paint marker Trita, do it do it go for it okay Chauncey oh hi Chauncey I've seen you on lots of other lives I'm glad you're here Ooh, too hot too hot too hot let me show y'all fast what happens if you do what I did can y'all see that um, right here so this will be the perfect one to add glass to because it will cover over that and nobody would ever know um, but yeah I don't know why I was holding that up y'all have seen it uh, I was just gonna say if you hold any kind of heat source too close which I was just reading comments and not paying attention it will bubble your paint which you don't want so this one will have to be for me oh it dried it it just dried it too much okay so anytime I'm adding glass um, I really don't need to glue it down or anything but for this what I was gonna say we need gold is what I would use for this so now you're gonna get to see how it looks. I'm picking out the giant ones. Like sometimes they send in one package all different sizes and uh, I'll take out anything too big if I want it for something small like this and just kind of dump the gold on here. This is one that I would not carefully place. Like I don't care. The center I think looks good, pretty piled up um, unless you don't want the painting covered up. So if you, if you don't, then you would either use clear or just less, less glass. And just kind of lay it down until you like the look of it. And this is reflective glass, so one side has foil. Um, and what I was gonna say about that is you can see, so see the foil, well, as soon as I touch it, it's going to move. But see the little pieces you can tell are foil. All you have to do is go from the foil side and turn it over. So there's a foil one. <laughs> Can't tell if y'all can really tell. And now I'm turning it over to where the foil's on the bottom. And now it's more just clear glass. So that's what I do if I'm going to really worry about it. But I also kind of like the reflective side too. So... Just leave it, just kind of dump it on, and that's perfect. And then I do a mixture for this other one. Again, pulling out the giant pieces that I don't want. And then I'll put some of the clear with it. And it, I do it in my hand, but you can do it in a bowl or anything and just mix it together. This is just one way. You can also, if you really wanted to, sit and pick out you know large pieces you can and kind of arrange it like this all the way down the pedal you know however you, just different ways to do it but on this one that I just did I just combined it and then just kind of dumped it just like that and then I kind of will take uh, something whatever I have around and just kind of spread it out so that it's somewhat even all the way around to some extent and then you can just keep playing with it to get I'm taking out anything big and just getting a few more of the pink that I can sprinkle in okay and I will kind of guide the larger ones and have the largest ones closer to the base of it because to me they look a little better that way than out on the edges and personal preference but that's kind of how I do it just like this and then you just do your resin if you want to do resin or glue it on if you don't and that is all for the glass so there's what it's looking like now let's see what the difference let's see how I, you'll tell I'm not good at holding this to where they don't all fall but yeah you can tell so that's that's it that is it I hope y'all enjoyed this I just love all the pink that we're doing for breast cancer awareness and 
I appreciate you guys who've asked me because I shared on one of these lives that I'm really behind on doing mine. I'm going to do it. I am. In fact, I vow I will make my appointment tomorrow and that way it's behind me. So even though I am telling everybody else to do it, I'm just as much in need of the prompting. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jeanette. Hi, Brooke. I'm glad you're here. I'm good. How are you, my friend? You like the, I do too, Lori. I think it looks good to have the mix on most things. So yeah, you can do whatever. What are you using for the surface? It's a canvas. It's six inch canvas. You can use canvas or wood. Um, Treat if you're still on. What do you think? Um, okay, guys. Well, um, this is a great one to sprinkle out to someone who might be needing some joy. I appreciate you guys being here always, and I hope that you have a good Friday. I'll be back on tomorrow, I believe, 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock is what time I'm planning. Unless something comes up, I might move it. And if I do, I'll post it at the top of my page. Also, be sure you're on my Telegram so that you get notified before my lives. Are you guys using that? I know a lot of people signed up for it, but is it helping? Do you watch for it? Does your phone ding? Because mine's turned off. Oh, thanks. Good. I'm glad you like it. Good, good. Thank you, Patty. I know, Cheryl, it is so important. It really is. And so many people that I have known had a doctor say, if you had waited, you'd be in a different position right now. So it's so important. I know that's why I'm going to do mine. I'm going to. Thank you guys. All right. Well, um, everything you might need will be up in the link of this description up there, you know, so once the video is over, you can go to the description part, it has a link to my website, a link to my telegram. Um, on my website, you can read about my uh, membership, message me if it's something you really want to do, uh, all the things. So you guys have a great afternoon or evening, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. And VIP ladies, I'll see you tonight with Jennifer, 7 o'clock Central. Yes, it is, Brooke, for sure. You guys have a blessed evening too, Candy. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. Bye.